Okay, so here's the second part of the su suggested solution for exercise number 11, where we are adding an action or an, an uh, administration view for resetting Drupal points for users. Uh, we, I'm going to slow down a bit in this screencast because the last one was very quick. I uh, just created a view. The view looks like this. It's displayed as a tab on the people page in, in the Drupal administration. And now I would like to add a uh, checkbox field here that allows me to reset the Drupal points for users. Just like we can see here we have checkboxes. And to do that I'm going to use views bulk operations and I'm going to use a component, a rules component that is being called by uh, views bulk operations. So uh, uh, the easiest way to do this, the easiest order is to start with a component so I'm going to do that. Into rules and components I'm adding a new component, click, and I'm going to use, say, an action set is quite enough here. I'm just going to do an action on the users that are selected, and here, and I'm going to reset their user points, the Drupal points. So uh, I'm going to call this uh, reset Drupal points tag Drupal point as usual, and here's an important thing as parameter. I'm going to take a user as input uh, and that uh, will correspond to the users being listed in views uh, and that's kind of the big secret with views bulk operations and rules in combination. I'm going to call this account, account, let's actually call it account to reset, continue and in here I'm just going to add one simple action and that is set a data value for this account. I'm going to select the account field user Drupal points, continue, and I'm going to set that to zero. Save. And that's it basically. Now we have a new action that views bulk operations can use. And if you haven't used views bulk operations, then this might seem a bit strange to you. I'm adding a new field here. And there's a field called bulk operations user that allows use bulk operations to, to perform actions on users. Apply. And I can have whatever label I want on this. Um, let's call it Drupal point actions. And there are some, some different settings we can use. I'm going to select this one, each action as separate button because I think that's more neat. Uh, select all for single display processing results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine, very fine. Down here at the selected operations, my new fine uh, component will be available. So we have here somewhere reset Drupal points. There it is, with a machine name rules reset Drupal points. Nice. Um, and we can uh, add some extra options here. I'm not going to use that. You're, feel free to experiment and, and uh, um, try different settings here uh, because uh, it, it's useful. You learn a lot by it, but I'm not going to go through it right now. And that's it. Apply. Now this field as a, is at the end, which is not really what you want. You want the checkbox at the front of the list. So I'm rearranging these, putting it in front, applying and saving. All right, let's see here. Drupal points. Here it is. I can now take user 3 and reset Drupal points. Confirmation. There it is. Number 3, test user 3 has zero Drupal points. And it works. Sweet. Um, that's it. Uh, see you in another exercise. Bye.